Hello YouTube, for this video I'll be making some baked apples in a Dutch oven on my heater or stove in the lounge room. Get yourself an apple corer, take out the cores of your apples, holding it safely so that you don't stab yourself when the corer comes through the end. Here I'm going to core two apples. I'll show you this in fast motion. Like this, get your Dutch oven, put your apples in, get some butter, I like it about that much, a knob of butter, whack it in the bottom of each apple. I've got some flo frozen blueberries. I'll put some blueberries in there. One, two, three, four, five. Maybe five or so in the bottom. Squish it all down. Push the butter down. Throw some more in the pot there. Oh, lovely. And now some sugar. This is not quite brown sugar, but it's granulated. Almost brown sugar. Brown sugar would probably be better, or raw sugar. This works quite well. Three or four teaspoons per apple. And we have some cinnamon, dried cinnamon, some dried clove, spices, throw them on top. A bit more sugar, why not? Chuck it on there, lovely. Uh, I'd put some water in there, just a few drips. The apples have enough water anyway. This is all gonna, the butter, the, the sugar, and everything. The water will make a nice sauce at the bottom. Sweet sauce. Now, back to the stove. I call it the stove, it's a heater. There's my chugger on the right. Water on the left that we use to humidify our house. The stove is set at 20 degrees Celsius. I'll just whack that Dutch oven on the top there, and I'll leave it for a while, and see how we go. We go having a look 15 minutes in they look a bit like onions <laughs> oh that's better you can see the sugar starting to melt close it up leave it for a bit longer here we are another 15 or 20 minutes later checking on the, on the progress there we go starting to change color a bit it's fairly slow on top of the uh, stove here. Every now and again, just give the oven a bit of a rotation just to keep the heat even throughout. So another 15 minutes later, maybe. So probably about 45 minutes in. You notice I try and keep all the moisture in as I lift the lid, stop it from drying out. There's plenty of moisture in there on the rotation. Leave it for a little bit longer. Final check, another 15 minutes later. Looking good. Now if that was if they'd been done without the skin, they'd just be like apple sauce right now. Cinnamon and clove encrusted on the top there flavour all the way through the apple. My house smells awesome at this point. If only you could taste it. If you make one yourself, you can. What's going on here then? Wow. Now, don't take my word for it. Make some yourself. Wow, that's 
Okay, well thanks for watching. Um, this was delicious. Make one for yourselves. 